But let's talk about exams. Hello viewers. Welcome back to the Medical Board Exam Experience with Dr. Kwafo. Today we are continuing our discussion with Dr. Dennis Ajapo. In a previous interview with him, he shared with us his experience on how to get research article published in big publishing companies such as PubMed. Today, he's going to share with us his experience on how he prepared for the USMLE Step 1 exams. Let us join Dr. Dennis in our discussion. Thank you. Yeah. Now, when it comes to step, step, step 1 preparation, okay. ideally, the Step 1 preparation starts when you start your medical education. Okay. In Poland, they will tell you, don't, if you want to finish medicine before you prepare for Step 1, you've lost the battle. In my school, they will tell you, so we have many materials. I, I, you know, I have, we have um, flash drive, external flash drive. Many, many of them. I have to buy one every year. External drive like this. So, mm. so for those who are starting medical school, how do you think they can add the step one preparation to their medical school curriculum? Oh, the get is simple. Get board and beyond videos you watch for every lecture you teach, teach, teach in your school. Okay. Then do 20 questions a day on you well. Okay. If you do 20 questions, let's say you get five right, you get 15 wrong. The 15 that you get wrong, read why you are wrong, find out the right answer, understand the concept, copy it in your first aid like I did. Like I did, copy it in there. If, if it is not enough, if it's not enough, what you do is you cut a piece of paper and you write it in there. Okay. Aside okay. the so that you are making like an album, right? Because that, the concept repeats, right? Yeah. Disease is a disease, it repeats. See? If the disease has a picture, which obviously it has a CT scan, MRI, micrograph, you buy an atlas and you cut it and, and place it there. As you go along, you do this on your downtime. So what, are, what, what resources will you really recommend for this step one preparation process? See, there is not one book for it. This book has, the, the first aid has all the topics and stock topics that you need. Okay. That is it. You need Patoma for pathology, which teaches pathology and then it up for pathophysiology. You need high yield physiology or BRS physiology that is enough for physiology, but you have to solve difficult questions. Okay. Physiology, every part is important. If you don't understand the normal way the body functions, you cannot tell the abnormal part. Yeah. You have to know biochemistry, which is the golden biochemistry. Everybody knows golden biochemistry. Mm -hmm. I, I have a copy somewhere. Then you have Anatomy for Ackman, Anatomy and Neuroscience, Ackman is now. Then you need this book, High Yield Neuro. Okay, for Neuroanatomy. Yeah, see, I have to bring, I have to bring this all the way from Poland here to the US. Okay. Uh, my school wouldn't recommend you buy this because they have it in their laboratory. But my, neuros my neurosurgeon will tell you if you become a husband, you become a wife, or whatever you become in your family status. Mm -hmm. The more problem you find is your specialty you need. Okay. Either the patient dies or survives. This is it. So you, this is your most important thing you're supposed to. If you know this, your, life, your, your daily life is easy. So I bought this on Amazon. I bought, and this is a rubber mod. I think I have this too. Oh, okay. So you, you have yeah. a problem in your, your house. Yes, because now... If in, when, when medical school the first year, it was a picture, you looked at it and you know the part. But now we're going to dissect. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a 3D to know what to dissect. So therefore, it cannot be just a picture in your book. So which question bank do you recommend for the step one? Do you well, do you well this enough? Okay. But the test I saw and you. I expect information to change. I expect changes to come, but you world is now. If you can reason like you world, our class didn't say Ambush was also good and it's very difficult, but I never did that. Now, don't confuse yourself with many materials. One question bank with 3,000 questions is enough. 
because medicine never ends. You can't do many, many this question bank, 5,000 Kafka question bank. This for me, when I finished Poland, I did two question banks. I did the whole do well, I did the whole uh, Kafka before I left, but I did other little, little things on the side that it was based on the need for the topic and my quizzes at school and in class. Okay. Like one of them was a, a, a cardio. A, the cardio section may have 60 questions and the instructor will say, I recommend you do this before you come for next month's test. Then I will do that. Okay. I may not necessarily finish the whole book, but I will do what is needed as I go along. So I have all of them. I have neurology. I have internal medicine. I have pathophysiology. Because every school, our school recommends it to be doing it. And for people who didn't attend, let's say good medical schools, mm -hmm. like the one you attended in Poland, that prepares students for the board. What main resources will you recommend for such people? Do you well, do you well, and, and do boss and beyond. Beyond, okay. Boss and beyond, I don't know if they have a book that comes with it. I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so, but the videos are good. Okay. The videos integrate the symptoms with the clinical scenario. Yeah. Yeah, they, that one, they do a good job. I, you know, when I was in Poland, I had, I started medical school with Kaufman videos, but that was what was there at that time. And I watched everything that Kaplan had stepwise as we go around the curriculum. But during my final year is when I saw Patuma, head of Patuma, and Patuma was great. Okay. Patuma is great. Do that. Patuma won't teach you the exams answers, but to make you understand the question. And if you understand the question, the answer becomes obvious. Okay. So what do you think mm -hmm. about the, the main exams? Was it close to UWorld or NBA? It is UWorld questions. Step one question that I saw is UWorld questions. They haven't even paraphrased it. Look, if you have UWorld, you realize this. Anytime they do maintenance, they take out some questions. Do you not notice that? Yeah. If you have not learned, have UWorld for long, you won't notice that. Yeah, Removing and adding. Yes, they remove yeah. questions to that have had right, and they put difficult questions in there. Mm -hmm. Now, the main reason I was copying questions in my book was that they will take it off by the time I graduate. Okay. And it's the same way so many people that came up with the world, the same people that said the question. So I expect the question to be similar. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's similar. Yeah, like, yeah. It's very, very similar. Look. You can read a disease and you know the answer is amino glucoside. You get to the answer choices, there's no amino glucoside. They will say medication effect. And there's only one answer that's about medication effect, but that's the answer. Yeah. So they are making everything unknown to test your confidence. That's all you're doing. Well, what, what do you think about the NBMEs? Because most people the, 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 the NBMEs predicts your score. Now there's no score to predict because it's part and fail. <laughs> I don't know where the passing score is now. Is it 75, 70, 80? I guess it's only 70. You'll find out the time. But the issue is it's a good predictor of your score because after that time, step one was a numbers game. You get a high score, you get a good rest. But now it has changed. Do you think do you think some knowledge about step two will help with step one? Not that much about. Five percent already more than that. Okay. See, every forty questions you see two questions, see two questions in step one. Every two, every block, every forty questions you do two, three questions like that. Okay. So for now, you, you, you will see it will be very difficult. But you have to understand that the test writers also want to make sure that nobody is call, scoring very high in step one. Exactly. So, in your, do you think the step one exam is difficult? Like on your test day, I, I don't think what was, were, were you surprised to see the question. I started medical school with you well, so I didn't see it to be difficult at all. I saw it as another side of the point of medicine that you weren't exposed to. Okay, because if you read the question, you can tell the disease in the question, you can tell the diagnosis very easily, mm -hmm. but you can understand why it's like that. Yeah, preparing for this step again. Step one again, what will you do different? What I'll do different is I will do more of um, pic studying pictures. Hold on, there's a book, that's the book. Yeah, okay. 
Gojan biochemistry. Gojan is mostly known for the pathology. And this is um, pathoma. Yeah. Uh -huh, pathoma. It's a great book. Then you, you subscribe the videos too. Then we have this book that was good, pharmacology. This book was good for our Lip, school. Living courts. Okay. All the uh, all of the living court question and answers are good. See this book. Sometimes it's not the question that I like, but I like the explanations. Oh, okay. The explanations will make you know why we use ibuprofen and not acetaminophen for fever or for pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, some of them to text, let you know, and your text will possibly didn't say it. Now, this is what you need, learning radiology. Okay. I couldn't go through all this book because of time, but this is what I'll do differently. It okay. has, it has um, what I call, every organ has pictures about CT, MRI, every do that. It will tell you how to read it. It points arrows in there to tell you to see the arrows in there. Mm -hmm. it's, this is the older edition, but it's a new edition too. It's very good CT MRI. Okay. If I have to go through this book, like this one and the brain surgery books, I saw you have to go through like if I go, I go to residence, it's good as gold because I don't see this images every day. That's one thing. If you don't see it every day, anytime you see them, it's, it's yeah, uh, it's not familiar, and you might mistaken one for the other. You know, some people think uh, or say that the step one, if you solve questions only, you can pass. Is it true? What do you think about that? Yes, it's true. You can work your way out with elimination. Okay. Because you develop the tricks in it, and you become immune to the tricks. Ah, try this. Yeah, try this. Learn the reverse way. In Poland, they told us to learn the reverse way. Reverse way means do the question, score zero, know what the question is about, now read the textbook. <laughs> <laughs> and now you read the textbook, you realize that half of what you failed is in the textbook, mm -hmm. half is in the question. So find the answers in the question, get the textbook, now, now you know. Now you are complete. <laughs> now, in, in, in Poland, they have a big book, as big as maybe this one. And they have compiled every anatomy question that is textbook that have questions that they have ripped it off and they scanned it. Yeah. And they have put it together like book. I gave more to people and still have written all you need to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I like that because look, we have Apple team, great text, Kaplan, Jewel, they have compiled all, and it's about 5,000 questions. Okay. Tell us, you get into the school, they give you one. They tell you that eight months, if you do all these questions, you pass. It's a joke. Look, and it's true. It's a joke. You know why? The questions are so many that it covers all the human body from head to toe. They've okay. asked everything. Yeah. And whether it's important or not, yes. Side that, anytime you see an answer choice, you can even formulate a question around the answer choice. One does. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the exam room, you see the answer of this, that, this, no, this, that. And I did all of it. I did all the 5,000 questions. I brought some to my case home and I did it. I, I wanted to make, make sure that I know it nonsense. Yeah. If you know it nonsense, now you are immune. If you're getting it wrong, it means you are conflating it. You think it's this, and it, or you didn't read the question well. Well, yeah. And that is it. Oven is very important in this process. That G, if you know an anatomy very, very well, physiology start falling in place. Yeah. Physiology is the ions moving. That's the difficult part of it. So like what mm -hmm. hormones is decreases and students are wondering why. Yeah. If you know anatomy very well and you know where the organ is and you know the cells that produces the hormones mm -hmm. and why they will be increased and will be decreased, it makes physiology easy. Yeah. Then you ask yourself, why is it increasing? Then there was the physiology book will tell you for the, the body functions in a way that whenever there is too much of one, it's another hormone has to make it up. Then you know that's how the body mechanism fights. Then yeah. you are the way to get in the right. 
So when you finish the step one, how long did it take you to prepare for the CK? Let's talk about exams. Medical for it. Please do check out for the next part of this interview. Where we talk about for the US Minister to CK. Everybody got around it. Let's talk about the exam.